This is the Algebra 2 practice test. This is question number 21. It speaks to me about the idea of a building that has a conveniently square base. If it had a rectangular base, this question would be much more difficult. But it has a square base with an area of 5625. Five. So I've got this square over here, and I know inside of it is 5625. Five. Now, the other side of it is the area of a model has 0 0.81 square feet as its size. This is obviously not drawn to scale. 0.81 is significantly smaller than 5,000, but whatever it is, it is. So the first thing I'm going to do, just for intelligentsia's sake, is uh, because the question asks me, what is the ratio of the length of the base of the building to the length of the base of the model? Well, I know a square has sides that are equal. So the base versus height argument is kind of irrelevant, but I guess they didn't want to confuse you by... Um, talking about, uh, well, I get, it talks about length, so they didn't really want to mess with you with length and width and all the rest. It's the same. But what can I do to find this side? Well, this number represents all the one-by-one one squares inside, so to find the side, it's a square root, right? So let's just take the square root. I mean, for goodness sake, it's a flipping square. So go in and type in 5625 and hit enter, and so my side length is 75. I can do the same thing for 0.81, square root of 0.81. I don't know why I felt like I needed to do that. And it gives me 0.9. So all I'm going to do is if I'm doing a ratio of length of the base of the building to length of the base of the model, I get this answer. But what am I going to do with that? It's much easier if I can analyze this in terms of a fraction. So I'm just going to go up and hit alpha, hit the Y equals button to open that fraction menu, and convert it from fraction to decimal. 250 over 3. And the answer that matches that for number 21 is A, which is the correct answer. So sometimes it's not as hard as you think it is. If you just look at stuff that you already know, this question is really easy.